semi-homemade is the way to go if you're stressing out about Thanksgiving and getting everything done in time. Mm -hmm, definitely. This one, though, looks like it would take a while, but you say it doesn't. It doesn't at all. We are going to make a fruit pie right here. That's an apple pie that I made earlier this morning. Um, you start out with those pre-made pie crusts, okay. which are just great. Um, you put the first one down, and I don't know if you've ever tried those um, cans of pie filling. They're mm -mm. actually really good. So oh, they, okay. they have... Um, like peach, cherry, apple. I'm making cherry because that's Dan's favorite. <laughs> All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your other pie crust, put it on a piece of parchment paper, okay. and just cut one inch pieces, okay? Yeah. And you're gonna do five of them. All right, you wanna make sure they're all even. And then here's the trick. This would be a fun thing to do with your kids. Okay, so I'm gonna take number two and number four. Oh, well, look Wait at a minute. there. Hang on. I We're see gonna where go you're like going. this. Do you? Okay, uh -huh. good. And you don't need to mash it or anything. You just kind of line it up. Then you take one, three, and five and take your next piece. I just your remember the odd and the even numbers. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you can even it up once you get done, you know, to make sure that the holes are the even space and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But, yeah, so, okay, then we're going to go, hang on, let me think, two and four, okay, like so. And in the time that it takes you to, to uh, preheat your oven, yeah. you can um, pretty much get this done. Get all this together. I needed to cut one more. Hang on just one second here. All right. So this one's going to be one, three, and three, five. five. And then, you know, you've got a pie that looks homemade. Mm -hmm. Hang on. What did I do there? <laughs> looks homemade, is sort of homemade. Um, you know, it looks like you tried. Yeah. And I think that's neat. So basically, you finish that up. You just bake it the way you normally would for a pie. Follow the directions on the can of fruit. And okay. there you go. You've got a pie that looks Homemade. Looks great, and you've got that one already set for, for, for a holiday theme. Yeah, well. we are ready to go. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to put both of those Pinterest links at newschannel5.com so you can find where I found the instructions for both of these things we did today. Fantastic. It's fun.